Hi and welcome to JavaScript Calculator. Uh, this is the one I created earlier using JavaScript itself. So I'm just demonstrating how it works. Right, that's how it works. The play button works as well. So we can add, multiply, do any other thing you like to do with a calculator. The next thing is to go straight into Notepad++ where I develop this calculator. So let's go straight into Notepad++ and welcome to Notepad++. So I'm going to start by defining my HTML right there then follow by head. Let's give it a title. So I'm just going to call it iCalculator and let's close that title. Yeah, that's the title of my application right now. So the next thing I do is uh, I might as well close uh, the head there. Yeah, I'll be closed. All right, so let's uh, now define the body. That's for the body. So I got that body and uh, the background color, BG color. Uh, let's assume that's B double eight. Let's say six zero B. That's my back color right there. All right, then uh, I'm gonna start by uh, because my calculator was uh, at the center, so let me put it right on the center and uh, put a space in there so the BR is for space that's uh, centered right there and uh, I actually drew a line across that's HR will give me an horizontal line and HR will give me an horizontal line and let me set the size of that very line to equals 20 and the back color for it is let's make that uh, white or uh, maybe let's set it for black okay that's the that's for the horizontal line right there so um just before the hr let me enter my let's make that uh, the size of the font that to be the heading and also make it bold the b sound for bold and the font itself font let's say font color let's go for white that's the font color right there and maybe style equals font that's it and that's it right there so let's enter okay so that's the calculator heading right there so the next thing is for me now to define my form or maybe before the form let's say uh, let's divide it and make the style as follows okay that's it right there that's the form i have the form in there then let's go for the input input so input name equals as follows so i have my input name there then the next thing now is uh, let me just put uh, uh, a break line right there that's cool so the next thing would be my button let's say input right there input let's go for type input type and that's the button right there so i have my input type there so right here what you guys see is uh, that's the uh, first button button seven eight nine and i also have my i have a margin right there that's it right there so i have my border radius i made that eight the font size is 30 the height of the button and the width of the button right there so and the font size button border style and the margin so that's for button 789 so I might as well just copy the following let's copy it come right down here paste that for button 4 make that 5 that will be 6 five and four there uh, let me change it to four really four five and six there then the next one is that in there that's uh, one two and three okay i now have all my buttons in place pick that up and that is how it's looking right now okay, the next thing is let's save this program so that i can demonstrate it for you guys Right, let's go for JavaScript. Where is it? Right there. On JavaScript, right? I'll just call it I calculator. Okay, okay, that's my calculator right there. Save that and also.
also let's save it as an HTML file so that you guys can see the end product with HTML save okay then let's get my let's just close all of these HTML component yeah they've all closed they're all closed now but uh, I need my let me put one of those there the script language because I'm going to use functions in there but just before then I might as well just save and run this program so that you guys see how it looks like so let's run it and you see how it looks okay this is how it's looking right now okay it's not doing anything yet and we cannot add or do anything there because uh, the equals and the clever things are missing so let me go back and get this one sorted okay now I have my my equals sign my equals button is in place right here I have my equals button you can see I've used uh, the function to evaluate and uh, carry out the calculation for the buttons and this is for the clear button which is right here that's just to clear the button in the case of the clear button I'm using a function so let me define a function right there to get rid of uh, uh, to carry out the clear and uh, some of the other calculations that need to be carried out okay so I need some function for my equal sign the plus not for the equal sign sorry I need function for the plus and minus multiplication division and uh, the modular function as well and right here are the functions okay you can see um, I have the function for each of the button btm plus if you come here you see, you should see btm plus right there and see the the event on click call the btm function which is right here and the same thing multiplication call the multiplication function and I think that you have the subtraction function I think this must be the subtraction function let's change that yeah we have the subtraction function in place so all of the function required for this program is in place so what we just need to do now is to run it and see how it works save it again and go to run launch internet explorer and into five multiply by two that's correct divided by three okay let's add maybe nine to eight all right clear let's say seven mode five that should give us two that is correct multiply by five there clear and that is how the calculator button works I'm just I'm just gonna call it the end of this uh, tutorial but just before I leave let me show you guys the Java script codes one more time right there that's my HTML file header title close the header body I've actually put it in the center add a line I'm sorry add a space below and uh, that's the size of my Java calculator right there and here I have my text box right here and those are the margin for the text box the radius that make it make the egg look round and if you come down here I have all of the buttons in place okay right here I also have two other buttons the clear button and equals button and this is the function that I use for the calculation you can see the function is assigned to the event on click okay right here I have my functions for the plus subtraction multiplication mode the dot sign the vision and the clear there they are and there they are I'm just going to call this the end of this program I suppose you all enjoyed and you all have a nice day now